pre-match press conference for Team England. Um, may I just remind everyone to keep their phones muted and to ensure that you use a microphone when you ask a question, please. Um, we'll, I'll hand over to Danny and then he'll take us. Thanks. Hi, Joss. Um, quite a long break since the since the game. Are you are you guys kind of hungry and, and eager to, to get back out on the pitch and and put whatever uh, right from last time? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously. Um, now we uh, had a few days to let the defeat sink in. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's working now. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, and moved on and folks had some good conversations and, and the energy and, and hunger around practice last night was very high. D do you expect this, this game to have quite a bit of energy to it because South Africa, following your result, had a, had a similar kind of setback of their own and I guess what we're going to find is, is two teams with quite a lot to play for? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic contest. I think uh, you know a lot of time as well. I always say we, we look at the opposition but a lot of focus on ourselves as well and we've had some good conversations about uh, how we want to play our cricket, um, you know, how we want to you know, commit to the style that we play and, and that's always more important than the results. You know, there is, um, you know, we put ourselves out there, we compete, the opposition want to win games of cricket as well so we know we, we won't always win um, but if we can stick to the way that we like to play our cricket and get to the best version of that, we know that that's the best chance that we have of, of getting the positive results. And, and obviously Ben has been right back into it now and looks, as far as we're aware, ready to go, which is good news for the, for the team, but makes it maybe, gives you a few ponderers in terms of how to balance up that team. How tricky has it been working that part out? Yeah, I think um, <clears throat> we've got so many options within the squad. Uh, selection is always tough and, you, and you're working out the right balance, um, always venue dependent as well. So um, being a good chance to see the wicket here today um, and gather a bit more information as well. Um, but obviously Ben trained really well last night. It's great to see him, him back. He obviously brings a lot um, on the field and, and with his presence and um, you know, leadership skills as well. He's someone always good to turn to, so he, he adds a lot of value. And just compared to the, the venues you've been, obviously you've been around the IPL traps a lot of times. Is this a good, a good venue for England somewhere where you really feel like you can, I don't know, dictate terms and, and play your game? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's one of the, the great grounds in India. <laughs> I love playing cricket here. I think it's a fantastic cricket wicket. Um, so, um, yeah, absolutely it should suit us. I was just, um, it was a little while ago now, but there was a, a great game here between the same teams in the T20 World Cup in 2016. Just wanted to ask your memories of that and um, when you were talking about the sort of fearless style that England play, presumably that night, albeit in a different format, was a good example of what you've been talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, fantastic game. Um, one of my favourite games that I think had a lot of value uh, in terms of where we were going as a team and, and the direction we wanted to play. So. Uh, great memories of that night, um, albeit a long time ago, and, and absolutely the, you know, that style is a different format, but um, you know, we, we want to find ways to, to make a play, um, to, to put the opposition under pressure in, in lots of different ways. That doesn't always mean hitting fours and sixes. It, it means can we, we push back when the opposition is on top, or can we uh, really um, take the initiative in, in different ways? Um, and that's what you know, we want to live by as a team, um, and we know when we commit to that, that gives us the best chance of, of positive results, as I said earlier. Uh, Josh, you talk in very kind of glowing terms about Chris Wokes in the aftermath of, of defeat. Obviously, a guy who's played a big part in English um, white ball success in particular, but maybe struggling for a little bit of form. How have those kind of conversations gone this week and, and what are the kind of skills and characteristics of someone like him that gives you the faith to perhaps go again this week? Yeah, obviously history. Um, you know, he's been a fantastic performer for, for an incredibly long time for England in, in all the formats and especially in, in one day cricket. Um, and look, we're, we're all honest guys, right? We're all honest professionals who, who hold each other to high standards and, and individually expect a lot of ourselves. And, and he knows he's not um, performing quite how he would like to at the minute and that's frustrating. Um, but. 
um, you know, there's no judgment from our side. We, we always back all our players um, that are in our team. Um, we pick them uh, for a number of reasons, and one because they're, they're high-class players, and he's certainly one of those. Hello, Joss. Um, when you look at South Africa, what what do you see as their particular strengths as a team? Yeah, I think they've been they've been playing some really good cricket. Um, I think obviously the the top six is a very strong uh, top six, um, and I think um, pace with the ball. I think that's one of their strengths. Um, uh, something I think both teams like as well. We have pace in both attacks, and, and both teams like pace on the ball. So as well, it should be a a really fascinating contest. Um, they're a really good team. We, you always expect tough challenge when you play against South Africa, um, and it's going to be a brilliant game. Based on that, how surprised were you then by their defeat last time out? Yeah, uh, surprised. Um, you know, I think uh, you know, you're always surprised when uh, those kind of things happen. No disrespect to the, to the Netherlands; they played a fantastic game of cricket and deserved to win it. So. Uh, I think you always have to give credit to to those op the opposition in that instance. Um, you know the bookies' favourites, I'm sure, would have been South Africa on the day, and um, but that's why sport is is fantastic. It throws up these uh, upsets, and um, everyone's on the same field trying to compete and and win the game. And you have to give credit to the opposition. Thank you. Uh, Just it felt like in Delhi you maybe read a bit too much into the way the pitch had played in previous games. I expected it to be similar and got punished maybe as a result. Um, obviously, that's not a, an issue here. Would you have liked to have that kind of guidance here or to give you maybe more clarity that it, you know, it's a fresh start? No, I think um, you know, trying to read conditions and, and get a handle on what may or may not happen is, is always something you're trying to uh, do in, as a team and as an individual and um, get a read on, on how it might play. Um, but always the skill is to, to react on the day, absolutely. Um, you can go in with preconceived ideas um, and you know, it's, it's not sort of um, committing to them fully. You know, you've got to communicate well as a team, understand as an individual how the pitch is playing, what the conditions are like. Uh, they're all parts of the game that are, are vitally important. So you try and gather as much information as you can before. And, and But history is history and it's about you know the game in front of you. Uh, Just me here from the Indian Express. Uh, about the last matches, so you mentioned South Africa's defeat as a surprise, but if you look at your result as well as South Africa's, would you dismiss it as, as one of those freak results at a World Cup, or uh, were you able to identify any particular reason or reasons why, why at least England lost? No, we've very much moved on. And now. Uh, look, we're fully focused on the game uh, tomorrow night. We can't change what happened. In the previous game, um, you know, we trained really well yesterday. We trained well again today, and there's a lot of excitement for the game tomorrow. Uh, Joss, you have scored nearly 900 runs on this ground uh, in the IPL and international cricket. Most of the runs uh, as an opener. So, any thoughts of you moving back to the opening position? <laughs> uh, no, none at all. Um, we've got some fantastic openers in our team. Um, it's certainly a ground of. I've enjoyed playing at uh, before. Um, I started my IPL journey here with, with Mumbai as well, so it's a, always a place with fond memories. I think it's a fantastic cricket ground, and um, you know, looking forward to, to playing here tomorrow.